what's up planner babe this is Arlie plans my name is Arel welcome back to my channel and for today's video um, I wanted to just share um, a quick setup with me for the month of February so um, and my EDC so I'm gonna take out the January inserts in this and then put all the new dashboards um, cards inserts and prepare for the upcoming month I cannot believe that January just like flew by guys even if it was five weeks long it seemed like it was only two weeks um i'm sorry for my voice i am a little sick right now hence the tea right next to me so i'll put that away um but if you hear me like suddenly sneezing or coughing i apologize <laughs> profusely but i wanted to get this video done and i wanted to share it with y'all so um i have my little accordion folders which houses some of my inserts um i have these this uh clear one which is smaller this is from amazon and this black one which is also from amazon but it also houses my a5 inserts so that's how i organize and then all of my personal inserts are in this baby right here um um, if you follow me on Instagram, I do have a silent slash musical flip of January in my EDC. So if you guys want to check that out. So we're going to take out some of these things. So I'm going to take out this card and replace it with one of these. This is from Cloth and Paper. Um, it is part of the January sub box. So guess we'll start with like actual inserts before we take out the dividers because my dividers are pretty are themed every month so I'll take this out this is the monthly and these are all my weeklies I think I'm gonna keep this last week here because today is January 30th I still have two days or you know what no I, I don't think I need this anymore yeah I'll just take it out and then that back in and then I will take out all my dailies except for the last two days so all my dailies are from cloth and paper but I will be switching to new dailies um, you guys will see in a bit so let's um organize these so I have my monthly my weeklies and then all my dailies and then now I guess we could start taking out the dividers too. So my dividers for the month of January are Hamilton themed, I, uh, musical Hamilton, and it was such a fun theme. And I wanted to incorporate a lot of my personality in my planner, even though I switched to minimal. Um, so yeah, um, I'm excited to share what the February theme is. You guys will see in a bit. Okay, so for the future, I am going to take, um, I'll still keep this because I need it to plan and then I'll take it out and then keep the other one too. These are for future dates, insert from Peanuts Panicle. So I just write random um, events that are upcoming take this out I have to put that back so I will be taking out the January bills and daily calendar stuff and then I don't have anything to take out on my work section and even my dump section so I'm just gonna add some things I'm just gonna take out the dividers so or I need a dashboards. So my travel section. No, I'm not gonna take anything out. And then my info, nothing as well. Okay. So these are all my Hamilton dashboards. Yeah, I'm not gonna throw these away. I'm gonna keep them, obviously. And now it's time to take out all the February stuff and put them in. So I'm going to take out... I actually 
um, had these prepared. I think I'm just going to add everything as we go along. But my theme for February as far as my dashboards are Valentine's Day or like romance movies slash TV shows, at least all my favorites. So I have this from You've Got Mail. This is Serendipity. This is How I Met Your Mother. Pride and Prejudice. Tangled. And Notting Hill. Um, these dashboards I made and it just has the favorite quotes that I have for each of the movies slash TV show. Like this one for Notting Hill. Like classic line. I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. Ugh. Can't. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, I, um, thought of this, like, theme right away as soon as I, um, decided to do minimal dashboards and theme dashboards for my planner. So I was like, ugh, I have to, like, have these movie quotes. Okay. So I'll probably do, choose which one. Um, maybe I'll put Tangled in the back for my info section. There she goes. And then, for my travel section, maybe we'll do serendipity. And then for the jump section, maybe we'll do how I met my mother. It's my favorite TV show of all time. Um... Although I do not agree with the ending. If you guys know, you know. For my nurse section, I think I'll do You've Got Mail. Love this movie too. I love Tom Hanks and Migraine together. They make really good movies together. Okay, so this is the adulting section coming up. So I'll add the inserts that I printed off. Um, so this is for the goals and the to-dos. Peanuts Planner Co. This is the Daily Spending Calendar, also from Peanuts Planner Co. And then the Bills Tracker, also. Oh, this is from Infinite Lotus. And then for my finance, I'll do Notting Hill. And then for going back to the plan, I'll add the future dates on here for March. So, all right. March dates, and then on the back, that's actually going to be March to-dos, so it's easier for me to, like, rate it um, when I'm pre-planning the months. Okay, so this is the future, and then for my dailies, I will be using Peanuts Planner Co. this time. And I believe these are freebies from her shop. So they're in the Facebook group, so check those out. But it still has my hourly layout, which I like, and just a space for twos. And then my weeklies. Um, I'll be putting right here. Yeah, wait, no. This is daily, and then weeklies will be right here. My weeklies are from MJ Planner. I do have a code for her shop, so I will be linking it down below. And my bookmark for my weekly, and then my monthly, which is the monthly overview from Infinite Lotus. And then I think it's all going to close now. Um, and then for the actual... Plan um, dashboard would be Pride and Prejudice. It's one of my favorites. I have to watch it at least every year. It's one of those like movies that you just can't. And the story itself. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, lovely. And then right here, since I took out January, I will be putting. February on here. And write my top three priorities when I do my planning. Um, and then this one I have to put back. 
right here. So there you have it. It's super simple. That's what I do as far as inserts, um, what I take out and what I put back in. Um, I'm going to do a video um, of how I set up my planners for the new month for all my planners, not just my EDC. It's more in depth, but I wanted to just share like this, mostly because of the dashboards <laughs> that I made. Um, but yeah, it's super simple setup uh, that I do, and it the dividers like they still work for me. I switched out my weeklies, but I finally found the one and also my dailies as well. So there we have it. That is my simple EDC setting up video for the month of February. I was going to do like fill out my answers also on camera, but I'm like feeling so terrible right now. I just wanted to share the actual putting in stuff and taking it out. Um, but I'll share what the, what's written on the inserts, you know, as I go along in the month, in the new month on Instagram. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tolerating my sickly voice. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And of course, if you want to see more content from me, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Bye.